Honourable Chairperson, the Honourable Mashlangu said a very important thing, and the electorate should listen to what she said, and they should do that. She said, and she made a call on the electorate, to not vote for people who are not doing the right things. To not vote for people who are doing the wrong things. Let's explore that. Did the Honourable Ace Makhashule, or not so honourable anymore, do the right thing when he stole the money of the people of the Free State and when he gave it to the Guptas to fund their wedding? Did the former Premier of North West do the right thing when he stole the money from, from Alf and give it to the Gupta-funded uh, ambulance service which are not serving the people and clinics which are not serving the people? Were that the right thing to do? Is the right thing to do to have contracted development programs which only benefit the children of premiers and not the actual small businesses which it is intended to do? The Honourable Premier from, of the Free State, Sisin Tombela, her ch children benefit from those programmes. Her home address is even the address of the registered business which benefits from these contract de contractor development programmes. Is that the right thing to do? No, it is not. Whilst those type of programmes are looted by the ANC, the ANC government cannot be serious about developing small businesses and developing the economy. We are at a crossroad because of policy uncertainty created by the ANC government. That is not the right thing to do. We are at a crossroad financially and in our economy because of wrong policy directions. The Honourable Rahula is absolutely correct. Doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results is the definition of insanity. This government is insane to think that redistributing wealth can create wealth. By dividing wealth, you will never create wealth. You will never serve the interest of the poor. The same thing is being done over and over. Giving 60% of this budget to education and health is correct. But the problem is that our education system is collapsing, that our health system is collapsing. So that money is wasted. Furthermore, Chairperson, the fact of the matter is that we are on an unsustainable path by bailing out SOEs, by also with our wage bill being 40% of the national budget and 50% provincially, we will never get out of this fiscal cliff. We are on a fiscal cliff. Let the electorate do what the Honourable Mishlangu called on them to do and let them vote the ANC out of power next year. Thank they you very listen. much. That's the only solution to South Africa. I thank you. Thank you.